everybody. I'm David. And I'm Leah, and this is Wine Forecaster. Well, this is uh, finally, we're, we're, it's springtime. <laughs> There's no buds yet, but this is something that we like to do. We like to do a lot of picnics uh, with some hikes, get the family out. In fact, we got the family with us. It's Leah and I and the two boys back there. They're, uh, it's uh, Kimi and Yari Mati, and they're busy eating a uh, rawhide. rawhide with some peanut butter on it. So... Uh, this is going to have to be quick. Anyhow, we have uh, Kelby James Russell, and this is a wine from the wine one of the winemakers over at Red Newt. Uh, they're on Seneca Lake on the uh, east side near Hector. So it's their 2014. I have a peak here. 2014 Dry Rosé. So I was looking up the uh, wine. This is their second vintage. Last year they did the 2013 Dry Rosé. And uh, this is the 2014. It's, what really attracted me was the really nice yeah. label, just the winemaker's name, nothing else. And then it says Dry Rosé 2014. And on the back, it says Nut Road Vineyard, which is obviously where the, uh, the Cabernet Franc grapes were grown that were used for this. So we really, I'm sorry, I'm doing all the talking, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> what do we have? Well, um, certainly when we do this type of hike and then a picnic afterwards, we try to bring very simple things mm -hmm. um, to munch on and uh, something to complement a wine. We usually do a, a lighter style of wine. Rosé is really our favorite for mm -hmm. picnics. So we have a five-year aged Gouda, um, some olives, some mixed olives, some prosciutto, and then, of course, some um, crackers as well. We have some vegetables also in the cooler. Cool. Let's talk about the wine a little bit. Uh, Rosés are so pretty, um, and they're such a springtime, summertime wine, you know. So, it's a beautiful rosé color, just like you'd see in a rosé sparkling wine. It's almost like a, uh, I don't know, it's, it's pink. It's like candy, yeah. candy pink, candy pink, yeah. I almost think of some types of Kool-Aids growing up. Mm. But it certainly doesn't smell like it, does uh -huh. it? It smells almost like a peach. Definitely get the peach. Yeah. yeah. Very it's hard to swirl in these. Yeah. <laughs> I think these we are, filled them these a are little plastic too high. ones, and we actually filled them ahead of time so that the wind, it's a little breezy, and we didn't want the, uh, the wind to take off, the, take the way of the glasses. Well, I definitely get a peach and then also a citrus, a lemon yep. um, component to the nose. Very refreshing. It's dry. Definitely, yeah, definitely dry. get that. Um, a little grapefruit, maybe. Yeah. I get the citrus yeah. again. Yeah. Um, um, I think you're you're spot on with the grapefruit. Um, there's a little tang. Minerality. Minerality on yeah. your on your uh, tongue, yeah. which is nice, and uh, it's going to go great with the, uh, especially with that. Mm -hmm. Good and the prosciutto. Let me have some of that prosciutto. That's fine. <laughs> go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do the H Gouda. Mm -hmm. So we've already been out for couple hours this morning. Well, that's not true. We went out for about an hour and a half because the little guy's legs are so short. <laughs> he has to do a lot more. Well, I like this. Definitely. I think it, um, it's not like the typical rosé that oftentimes you'll reach for that is overbearingly sweet. Um, and I think it's easier to pair different types of, um, picnic foods with it as well. Yep. You really don't want something super sweet because what do you really pair with that if you're having a meal versus a dessert? If you're having a dessert, then go for it. Um, we don't really have much. We have blueberries. <laughs> so I don't think it'll go very well with this. So prosciutto, that's the five-year aged Gouda. Mm -hmm. and some Greek olives. Mm -hmm. And you've got some gluten-free crackers over there. Yep. So uh, great. So this is, uh, again, it's Kelby James Russell. Check him out. Uh, it's their 2014 Dry Rosé. You can find this on the Red Newt uh, website. It's a $16 bottle. I'd say it's well worth it. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely, you know, especially for a, a picnic yeah. or um, a spring or summer type of meal, midday or, or you know, for sure dinner. Yeah, I'm excited to see what else uh, uh, this winemaker is gonna, gonna come up with over the uh, next uh, couple years. Maybe he'll expand to some other kind of uh, varietals as well and different uh, types of wine. Great. Well, thanks for joining us. I'm David. And I'm Leah.